just arrived at the supercar driver event here at RAF Scampton. I'm here with none other than Adam Thorby, the founder of oh. Supercar Driver. What a great event. First of all, we are currently, what, 50 feet above yeah. the ground in this cherry picker. And behind us, we've got to line up 100, 100, cars, yeah. 100 supercars. 100 cars, yeah, yeah. Um, tell me about this event. I missed it last year, stupidly. It was, yeah. Last year was our first event. Uh, this year, we have stepped it up a bit. We've learned a lot of lessons from last time. Yeah. This is hosted by the Red Arrows, you know, the, the guys that we all admire. Yeah, they, absolutely. They put this together with us and yeah. let us all come down here. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Great event. It's funny, normally I'll turn up to these events and go straight over to the best car. Yep. This time I've turned up and got over straight to a Red Arrow, which is yeah, yeah, amazing. No, it's mad, isn't it? It's so mad. good. So what's the format of the day? The day today we have doing we're starting with this epic group photo. Yep. And then there are various parades. The cars are split into groups of 20. There's okay. a hypercar parade going up first. They all have two or three laps on the track. And then uh, we work through the groups. Obviously, it's worth saying as well, when you turned up, we took a donation off you for charity. Yes. And we hope to raise about six grand, I think, if everyone, uh, yeah. everyone donates. And yeah. All right. And what's the charity? Uh, it's John Egan Trust, which is the yeah. pilot, uh, Red Arrows right. pilot, yeah, that lost his life in 2011 at Bournemouth. Yeah. Uh, it's for those, uh, his charity. And then a uh, percentage of that, a smaller percentage, will also go to Blue Bellwood Children's Hospice, who's something that we support. And we've supported for about five years now. So Fantastic. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's cool, because we can use these cars for a good thing, for a good, you know, so yeah. The drivers have an awesome day. We give yeah. money to charity. Everyone wins. Win win. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And so, as well as me filming today, you guys have noticed your crew yeah, down here. Yeah, we've no got a doubt. Crew. Yeah, so yeah. after this video, be sure to go and check out Supercar Drivers Channel. They've got much fancier cameras than I have, so <laughs> I'm expecting big things. Yeah, me too. Actually, we've got uh, Riyadh's brother Nathan. He's leading it today. He's presenting it. So for, for once, we've got a face, and yeah, we're yeah. going to show a bit behind the scenes. I think so. Fantastic. Yeah, cool. Thanks a lot, Adam. Cheers, James. Cheers, mate. See you, mate. Cheers. Okay, we have arrived at RAF Scampton and behind me is an airfield of 150 of the world's best supercars. We've all got the cars lined up perfectly for what is going to be a phenomenal photo shoot. Again, the words aren't going to quite do it justice, so after this segment I'm going to take you along for a more beautiful ride. But some of the cars here are absolutely insane. We've got a Road Legal FXX 918, several Super Veloce Aventadors, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. Without further ado, let's chat. More chat. We are here with a familiar face again. Last time I was speaking to you was about your winning Millimilia 599. Still got the wristband <laughs> on. Wrist uh, and that's, now. That's free espressos anyway. <laughs> Anywhere I go, James. If, if you flash that if I flash in Italy, that, they bow down. That's free espresso. <laughs> um, but now you're telling me that this F430 that you've modified quite a lot was yeah. going to be the original car. Yeah, yeah. That, this was going to be the original race car, James. And yeah. um, we had uh, I had a co-driver that was going to join me, um, and he got really pretty ill, and um, yeah. we decided to change the car to do the race in the 599 but when we when we started the build on this car we were trying to make what we considered would be the ultimate Mille Miglia car so we wanted to have um, it really really capable on the road yeah um, but also not too sort of focused that it would be unstable sure um, okay. so yeah so we managed to take what Ferrari had started with and yeah and make some modifications it yeah. sounds like you've given it the Scuderia treatment and then some <laughs> yeah well we're, we're now lighter than a Scuderia Fantastic. Um, wow. and it's interesting to contrast I'm an engineer by trade uh -huh. so it's yeah. interesting to contrast Ferrari's approach <laughs> of course, to losing yeah. to losing right. weight yes. and uh, and our approach so the first thing here is the carbon oh, yeah. uh, front air guide which okay. is um, which on the stock car is body colored but it's also amazingly uh, yeah. heavy <laughs> <laughs> then the next thing that we did moving backwards was we upgraded the car to the to the carbon brakes um, so Which... this was running on steel brakes originally okay and we also put the challenge wheels with titanium titanium bolts wow. so those those titanium bolts will save one and a half kilos. <laughs> all, like all I said, together. every little helps. Every little bit helps, yeah. <laughs> um, and what we did was we, we changed the geometry um, a little bit mm -hmm. to, um, to to make sure that the car 
you know would handle really well but we've kept the suspension travel because one of the things about road racing is yeah. that the the roads are not perfect so sure. unlike a track focused car like mm -hmm. a scuderia yeah um you know <laughs> you've got to be able to soak up those potholes and the, and those occasional and which bumps. through italy there are there are quite a lot let's just say italy <laughs> italy's roads are varied Off -road. varied they are varied yeah yeah so I, I guess inside you can see some some big uh, changes because in period the the car was available with carbon trim right um, but most fall 30s have got like an aluminium yes. uh, look to them yep. this is one of the single biggest weight savings seats was sure. these um race seats these carbon back race seats they are they are a ferrari item and i think up until the 458 uh, option came out these are where the lightest fully trimmed leather carbon seats you can get but as you can see everything carbon inside we took the stock manifolds out yeah and you probably can't see them but buried in there yeah are some um, stainless steel replacement manifolds so you've gone all out of there we've gone all this. out yeah yeah the um the carbon interior here saves a lot of weight and these carbon air boxes these are from a scuderia we've adapted them to fit the, the standard engine <laughs> you've done some work on this yeah. haven't you titanium cap here oh yeah saves a few grams <laughs> and um and the exhaust also to get the exhaust free flowing this is a really weirdly rare japanese market wow um tubey pipes yes i have got another exhaust which is current which i designed and somebody fabricated for me <laughs> um, but we're running the stock silencer Unreal. today wow and then this piece at the back end here that is this is right? what you could this is yeah what they call the challenge back end we had yeah. it weighed on the weighbridge the other day yes and we've taken out 128 kilos over the stock car that's so no small feet that's good scuderia going. is 100 yes, kilos it is out. yeah so we're wow so we're almost there when, I, when we change the silencer yeah i think we'll be 30 kilos less than a scuderia fantastic with the air boxes yeah and the manifolds and a little bit of a remap we're up to 555 horsepower so together with that the power to weight ratio is quite a jump yeah yeah so it, it will a great piece of gear. you know it will outperform a scuderia on the road yes as you know james i'm, sure. a, I'm a road racer at heart that's the thing yeah yeah um so yeah it's been a very very rewarding project i mean when we got that yeah. we got that number on the scales really fantastic it was in a waste recycling center <laughs> and you pay 13 quid to get yeah. your car weighed and we were jumping up and down they said what the hell you know what why are you jumping up and down with it? we and, need uh, to get out in this i think one day we should do a video on it because i actually was a 430 scooter air owner oh right so yeah. it'd be really yeah. interesting I would, to compare them i think that would Absolutely. be a fantastic yeah. exercise yeah all right, Chris, well, there's another 150 cars here and I'm not going to do an interview like that on every one of them. <laughs> well, you enjoy Thanks the rest up, of the day, James, and Will I'll do. see you soon. The idea now, then, is we have a parade lap and we're going to get some awesome photos and footage. Is that... I hope that's, so. I mean, that's, 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 that's the, that's the plan, you, man. That's what usually works. Yeah. yeah I mean, Am I leaving him behind? Just decided to do an interview mid-runway. Do I even need to plug this back in? He's in. He's back. He's back. Piece to camera. Right, well, what we're gonna do is remove that, and we're gonna remold your face. I just really don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, that was good. I, d I don't know how they do it. Honestly, it's, it's so good. No, the jokes aside, this is... Oh my god. <laughs> So cool. It just, that much power and that much aggression should be breaking traction. It, and it doesn't. It's ridiculous. Oh, Honestly, man, it's witchcraft. The oh. guys at McLaren, they have some magic formula. They have really done the job on this car, haven't they? We're coming towards the end of the day, but behind me is exactly the reason why this event is so fantastic. We've got a Road Legal FXX, my LT, and a plane from the Red Arrows, all in situ for people to just line up and take pictures with. When's the next time a picture like that is going to happen? It's fantastic. Anyway, we are coming towards the end of the day, so I'm going to hop back in the LT. I've got quite a drive home, and uh, see you next time. Ciao.